In this video, we shall talk about the Bootstrap Grid system. In Bootstrap, the grid system is used to create a series of rows and column structure for the layout of our website. In Bootstrap, it is assumed that any screen on any device is divided into 12 columns for each row. Now let's use the typical row and column template on Word document to, to explain this. Let's go over here to Google Docs actually. Now this is a row of 12 columns and this is also a row of 12 columns. That's how the bootstrap grid system works. The height of your row can actually be 100px, 500px or any amount you want them to be. So what this means is if I'm creating a website and I want to divide my screen into two sizes equally. I can just say six here and six here. Now let's head over to VS Code and do something practical. Let's go here. To use the grid system in Bootstrap, you first of all wrap it in a container. You create a container then you define a row. So this class of row defines this row right here. Just citing an example. Then right inside this row, automatically we have 12 columns. So I may want to divide them into two, into three, or I may want to say, okay, let the first side of my row be eight, columns and the other side before columns so I can just say uh, div class you set the to set the column you say call MD stands for medium you have SM that stands for small and you have LG that stands for large actually the MD LG XS and SM they stand for the screen sizes the website will be displayed on so for now I'm saying call MD6 means I'm taking six columns from this row when the screen size is medium upwards if I say call SM6 it means I'm taking six columns from this row when the screen size is small upwards to large you can go online and make a little research about screen sizes and devices so you know which device falls under which screen size and which device falls under which screen size so let's go on i would say call md6 i've taken six columns in our first row remaining six other columns so let's say uh, let's put a h1 here and say first column and let's go to the next line outside the call md6 class to inside the row class because we are still in our first row which just has only six columns taken the other six columns are not taken yet so let's take that let's say div class call md6 now let's have an h1 inside there and let's say second column so let's save this go back to our browser refresh and see what we have going back to our browser as we can see we have the first column here and the second column here on the same row now to make this clearer let's head back to our VS code and let's add some background colors to our columns let's say black let's come over here I'm using the inline styling method let's say background color and let's say background color Let's say red. Now let's save this 
and head back to our browser to see what we have now as you can see using the container div we can see our screen has been divided into two evenly now let's head back to our VS code and let's set this to container fluid let's save this let's go back to our browser refresh to see what we have so this is how to use the bootstrap grid system to divide the screen sizes the way you want it and you can actually play around with this you can say on the left side let's have three here and let's have nine here nine plus three is twelve always ensure it's not more than twelve because the column system in bootstrap is set to twelve so let's go back to our browser refresh and see what we have as we can see the right side now has more space than the left side because the left side which is the first column it sets is set to call md3 we just want three columns from that section and we want nine columns on this section so actually you can use this when building your website to define the space and you can use it to define dimensions and divide your screen evenly without having to use css and going through all the stress that css gives when trying to divide your screen size into two or more and also let's still play around with this i can divide my screen size into four by just saying three three let's create another or let's just copy and paste let's take this back let's say third column and let's paste this also and let's say fourth column let's change the color here let's say brown let's change the color here to white now let's save this let's go back to our browser to see what we have let's refresh as we can see we have four sections on our screen the first column the second column the third and the fourth all evenly divided because we set all of them to three 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 just understand that the bootstrap grid system works with 12 so you can split this anyhow you want to split it three nine eight four six six seven five eight four ten two anyhow you want to split them inside each column that we define we shall be creating anything we want for the website if i want an image to be placed here i'll just come over to the first column here and i'll just place an image tag and link my image to that section the grid system is just used to evenly divide the layout for easy designing. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share. Thank you very much.